Lisa Nicole Lopez. When I met Lisa and her eyes, she blinked really fast. She said, I need help. I said, we all need help. <laughs> me too. Five months later, Lisa was talking to me and I never blink on her. Lisa was nice. Lisa realized. Lisa fasted for 42 days and 42 nights. Lisa came to my hut. Two o'clock in the morning, she came with these two mugs of sea moss. Oh, I'm glad I'm talking about sea moss. Sea moss, brothers and sisters, I drink sea moss every day. And Lisa started drinking sea moss. And she saw her body forming up and her nerve nice. And she said, I love you, Dr. Sebi. I said, I love you more. She said, thank you. But you know what happened, right? Well, that's the way it's supposed to happen. And that's the way it happened to me and all of us. But that's okay. Everything is in divine order. But brother, yes. Only fast for about 12 days a year. What else is your meal like a day? Like, what else do you eat a day? Like in the morning when I wake up, she always have a mug of sea moss. And that's it. And my three, I have an African formula. Yes. And also the Green Food Plus. And I'm gone. Like right now, I'm gone. In the evening, mm, a salad. A salad. A little salad. And I put my anise salad dressing on it, and I'm good to go. But I feel good because my stomach is empty. But if my stomach was big, my back would be strained, my eyes would be bad, and everything would go bad. Sea moss comes from the ocean. It locks onto a rock. Onto a rock. And from that rock, it receives its nutrients. Dr. C.B., how could that be possible? A plant pull onto a rock? Yes. Scientists have yet to understand how could a plant hold on to a rock and then give you food. But you know what it is? They invented a word. This is the word. A 15 letter word. They call it ionthroporosis. Now dig that. They don't understand the workings of God, but they're going to give it a name that a plant has the ability to convert a solid oxide substance into a liquid digestible substance. They call it ionthroporosis. Sea moss does that, and every plant does that. But sea moss has iodides, bromides, it has all of the minerals, phosph phosphorus, which is good for the thyroid gland, which is good for the endocrine system, and it's going to give you energy. And it has muscle food. They call it manito, sea moss. Where do we get fresh sea moss? Incidentally, like the man, <laughs> The man made pe peppermint, and he made aloe vera. He, he made noni juice. He made vitamin C out of acerola berry. But well, guess what he did in Boston? And you guys don't know it, and it's dangerous. The man went to the ocean and got a piece of sea moss because he knows that sea moss grows in the ocean where the sea is in constant motion. Sea moss doesn't grow where the sea stands still. It has to be in motion, and sea moss grows. So this man in Boston went and got pieces of sea moss, put it in this brine with salt on a machine, and he moved it. The, the machine is constantly moving, and lo and behold, the sea moss grows very thick, very thick and very fast. And when you get a little bit of it and you put it in the pot, it gives you a whole lot of mucilage. 
The natural sea moss doesn't give you a whole lot of mucilage. And the talus of the sea moss, I mean the little strings, thin, thin, thin like this. Very thin. Just like this. But the other one is three times the size. And the other one, three times the size, it always has salt on it. Natural sea moss has no salt on it. And it gives you energy. Where are you going to get it? Well, we are important sea moss. We have a whole box of fresh sea moss in Chicago where I just left to come and see you because Mr. Gray said, wait, drop Chicago and come to Philadelphia. Well, I did. And I had just received a shipment of sea moss. My brother owns boats that travel the Caribbean all the way to Colombia and Venezuela. And he always sees sea moss on top of the ocean. It looks like gold. He would harvest it and bring it to me. And since Mr. Charles Gray is head of the Genesee School, we will be collaborating now to facilitate these things to you. You will get fresh sea moss because I will be sending it to him. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And what the brother asked is a very good question. All of you males should drink a lot of sea moss. All of the females too, because it strengthens the connective tissues. Oh, yes, it does. And according to your, not according, but your reproductive organs would definitely love it. Women in Honduras use the sea moss to give themselves a douche with. And you'd be surprised what you feel. <laughs>